Yes, uh, this is Bobby Davis. I'm gonna, I want to lead off tonight. I'm doing my mid-month uh, lesson, you know, and I'll be covering uh, uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 12. But the uh, first thing I want to do is uh, go ahead and say prayer. Um, dear Heavenly Father, I pray, Lord, that you guide and direct me, Lord, uh, tonight while I'm, you know, speaking to everyone, Lord. I pray that you give me the words, Lord. And Lord, most of all, I pray for salvation and everybody out there that's watching. And not only do I pray for salvation for everyone watching, but their families, their friends, all their loved ones. It starts, it leads off, Lord, as we all know, that it, it leads off of one person, family member, gets saved, and, and then other people will get saved, and I pray that that will happen to everyone out there. Um, I'll be talking about spiritual gifts uh, during this lesson, Lord, and I pray that that everyone does get saved, and I also, and, and they'll reap the benefits of that. And one is, and the biggest benefit is having the, uh, the Holy Spirit dwelling within you all the time, 24 hours a day. That is your helper. And I pray, Lord, that everybody understands that. And I pray that you guide and help everyone out there, Lord. And I, and I pray that you, once again, you draw them closer to you, Lord, and that they'll reach out to you, read their Bible, and just pray. And most of all, just ask. Ask, just talk to the Lord and just ask if you need it. ask all this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Okay. Uh, Anyway, Wednesday, it's Wednesday evening, and um, the the weather report uh, for this week is, uh, I think for like, like the next 10 days, it's going to be nice weather. Uh, it's going to be cool at nighttime in the uh, maybe mid-50s, low 60s at night, and also, uh, you know, during the day, it's going to be up in the uh, 70s, I think the lower 70s, and uh, not, the, not the weatherman, so don't... <laughs> Don't hold me accountable, but that's what everybody's saying, and I looked it up uh, today at work, so uh, that's what the weather forecast is for uh, for the next several days, um, well, actually a little bit over a week. Uh, but anyway, I'll be talking about spiritual gifts, and once again, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, and this is laid off, it'll start off 12-1 uh, to the... Uh, to uh, chapter 12 to uh, 11 and now concerning spiritual gifts brethren I do not want you to be ignorant you know that you were Gentiles carried away to these dumb idols I love that dumb idols however you were led therefore I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus accursed and no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are di differences of ministries, but the same Lord. There are diversities of activities, but it's the same God who works in all of us. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. And for to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, and to another the word of knowledge through the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit, and to another, gifts of healings by the same Spirit, and to another, the working of miracles, to another, it could be prophecy, to another, discerning of spirits, to another, different kinds of tongues, to another, the interpretation of tongues, but one and the same Spirit works all these things distributing to each one individually as he wills. So just want to cover the, uh, you know, I love this lesson. We, you know, we, sorry, I'm moving the table. My computer is jumping up, jumping up and down. Uh, everyone that's been saved, they, and they have the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit that dwells within them. And you have, you've been given gifts. Now, you may not know what your gifts are yet. 
I'm 63 years old. I got saved when I was 13. So when I got saved when I was 13, I didn't think I had any gifts, to be honest. You know, I had no idea. I was young. Um, but it, it took a while. It took me to, I had to mature. I had to grow in the faith. And now I, I know what my gifts are. And, but I don't want to talk about me. I want to talk about you. This is all about you. Uh, so we all have these gifts. Or a gift, whatever. But the main thing to, to utilize your gifts, just draw closer to the Lord. And in doing that, he'll, be, he'll make it known to you what your gifts are. Uh, I promise, not from me, that's from him. Uh, you know what your gifts are. And they were going to say, I'll, as I read further, you know, in this chapter, it'll, it'll talk about the body, but I'm not going to get into that right now. But you, you have you have gifts. The only thing about it, your gifts, it's kind of like your body as far as, you know, when you work out. You know, if you walk, uh, you go to the gym and work out, ride your bike, you know, just, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be anything major, but you're working out, moving your muscles, just getting out of the bed and walking around the house. I'm not, I'm not saying that's a workout, but uh, but if you were bedridden for any certain period of time, you'd have a hard time to, you know, you'd probably use, uh, lose the, uh, the use of your legs over a period of time. You'd be, you, you become weak, tired, you know, because you're not getting around. So the, the, uh, the gifts that, that we are given, it's kind of like it. They're there, but if you don't use them, then you don't exercise them, then you don't, you know, it's just, like, once again, it's kind of like working out, you know. Uh, the, the more you work out, the more you can do. And the gifts, they, they really, it's the same principle. Once you realize what your gifts are, not only know your gifts and what they are, but the main thing is just have, having the confidence. You know, we get we get confidence by doing something over and over where it's kind of repetitious. But it's kind of like your own autopilot. You know, you, you, can, you can do it and... You know, the things that we do, the same thing every day, you know, the routine that we've got, we can do it, and we don't even remember doing it. It's just it's part of our routine. Well, gifts are kind of like it. The more you, you know, you utilize your gifts, and you'll, and you'll get so much immense joy, peace, pleasure. And when you get that through the Spirit, it, will, it draws you closer to God. And as it draws you closer to God, you're going to want to read the Bible more. You're going to want to be around Christians more, you know, listen to, um, you know, Christian music. Uh, you're going to want to do all that. And, I, you know, I'm, I, I've learned, you know, I'm at a point in my life right now that I'm drawn closer to God because I don't work all the time. You know, I know a lot, a lot of people out there are working, trying to make a living. And which is kind of tough nowadays, you know, but, but I have more time. I still work full time, but the fact that I'm not on the road all the time, like I used to be, you know, I have more time and I'm involved in church. So that helps out a lot. Um, but anyway, everybody has gifts and, but remember every, everything that the Lord gives us, everything he, he's trying to teach us, every, everything. Uh, that he's doing for us. I know a lot of times people, you know, you probably don't think God is there. It doesn't feel like it. Well, whether you feel him or not, he's there. But, but remember, you know, nobody waits on God. God's waiting on us. He's always there. And uh, the closer you get to him, you'll know that and you'll feel him. And you'll feel him working in your life. And once he, once he starts working in your life, He's also working your children's life, your grandchildren's life, you know, your, your friends, family members. He's working everybody's life just because, just because of you, because you're there. You're, you know, you're there with, with these people, you know, you interact with people and how you interact and the way you present yourself and the fact that you stand for, you stand for Christ and you're, you're bold in the faith. You know, a lot of people, are, you know, may not like you even in your own family. That is so true. But 
but they'll they will respect you. They might not say it to your face, but they they'll respect you for you stand up for what you believe in. And uh, so anyway, once again, just draw close to God, and that's a big thing that'll that's that's number one. You know, if I had if I had to make a list of first thing to do, salvation. And number two, read your Bible, pray, pray. You know, you you know, most people eat three times a day. I think nowadays, I think a lot of people eat a lot, a lot during the day. You know, you know the, the way the way people act and the buffets and you know just uh, you know uh, people just don't get as much exercise as they used to. But anyway, so uh, it's good to get some if you can. Um, uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, I'm going to cover uh, starting with. Uh, Verse 12, once again, I'm still in chapter 12, 1 Corinthians. Uh, unity and diversity in one body. I'm not gonna read I'm not gonna read this whole chapter. It's kind of redundant. It gets to it gets into the uh, the body parts. And what it what it's doing is making a parallel between body parts. Like it's basically saying that, and I'm gonna read this here in a few minutes, but it's basically saying the you know you have one body. You have, you have all these parts. You, you couldn't really pick, or it'd probably be hard to pick, which one is the most important. I mean, if you you know, if you, if you're, you know, you need your eyes, you need your ear, you need your nose, mouth, heart, every every organ in your body, you need it all. You know, legs, arms. I know um, a lot of people, due to an accident or health reasons or whatever, have lost limbs. I know, you know, my best friend. Uh, lost his leg, and I know uh, Hammer out there. You know, you know. I, I know he has a difficult time getting around. You know, but you know, but the I think the main main thing, the most important thing that we sh we should desire to have of our body parts, I think it's probably our heart, and have our faculties with us to where we can still relate to people and. And, you know, just, you know, you don't take much to pray. Just bow your head. You don't have to get on your hands and knees. If you're not able to do that, I mean, obviously you couldn't do it. But the main thing is just having a heart for God. I think that's the most important thing. Because in this life, we may live, you know, what, 75 years, perhaps. And then on the other hand, we can live, we're going to live a lifetime in heaven. So, but once again, I'm going to start on uh, verse 12. Whereas the body is one. And many members, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body. So also is so also is Christ. For by one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, and have all been made to drink into one spirit. For, for in fact, the body is not one member, but many. So we are all members of Christ. So. And I know I'm looking at the list here uh, that the uh, they gave us the church. I like it. Uh, I picked several on here. And uh, but anyway, this, this this is your path to Christ right here. Well, actually, not this. The Bible the Bible is your path. But this right here is a part of that. Uh, so if you pick one of these, uh, you know, a 21-day devoted challenge, okay? So if, if you can go 21 days and devote, pick one thing. You know, you know I, I would I, I pick three. So I, I might add more. I don't know. But, but I'm telling you, the main thing, you know, when I talk, people. Just get right with God. Read your Bible. Be devoted. And if you do that, all things will come to you. I was reading, uh, I've been reading Gentiles. I mean, Genesis. Gentiles. I've been reading Genesis. I've been taking my time too, little by little. And, and you know, I've been really so blessed but just by reading Genesis. I mean, Joseph and and I mean, it's incredible. All the doors that God opened for these people. 
because he loved them and and, and they worshiped him you know and they and here you go they were they were devoted so so and I, I know time maybe is our enemy but I don't think so I think it's bull cool. you know um, I think times are enemy because we're trying to do it all we watch TV too much TV you know, it's mostly garbage that's on there I think we're spending too many time doing other things we want to need to do but anyway uh, I think that uh, sometimes I think you need to turn down turn everything off sit read your Bible or just sit there talk to God pray pray talk to God hey it's all the same and ask ask and always make sure I say this so much but uh, it's repetitive but if, if you've uh, if you've had a disagreement with anybody out there just just make it right you know when you do that and don't, it doesn't mean let me clarify it doesn't mean you take blame I'm not saying that it just means just go to that person just talk to them just like you would anybody else just talk to them and maybe you, you know, maybe you were done wrong. I don't know. But, and so, but it doesn't, you know, but you, we should be the better person because we represent Christ. You always got to think, what would Jesus do? He died for every one of us, the good people, the bad people, Christians, non-Christians, you know, every one of us. So I would say take, take the, uh, Take the right path, do it. And also, I do know this. Every time I've made amends for people, uh, I was blessed every time. I felt a joy in my heart, so it was blessed, so it helped me tremendously. And also, when you get to talking to people, they may tell you, no, I'm sorry, you know, I was just having a bad day. I took it out on you. I mean, you, you just, we're all trying to do the best we can, and sometimes we take it out on other people. So be sure and do that. I'm doing a lot of talking here, but, but, um, so be sure and do all that. Um, and if you ever have any questions or anything, uh, you can, uh, you know, give with me, uh, in church every week, you know, uh, but, uh, I, mean, I enjoy doing this and appreciate everybody, uh, tuning in. And, um, uh, and until next month, I'll see you then, and I uh, hope everybody have a, uh, a blessed week and enjoy the weather.